if your mother would be at the same place what will you do sit straight with your shoulders up like this with a lot of confidence not do this much not do that much okay in a balance hello everybody welcome back to spreading skills i am sure to sing again with another video and in this video we are going to talk about something very informative and very important but before going into this video i would like to share with you a little incident which happened with my best friend recently i met with my best friend and she told me that she's just coming from the interview i was really happy to know sounds good right that she's coming from the interview she told me that she spoke really really well i was happy when i listened that that she spoke really well that's a great thing but when she told me she spoke that good that she didn't give chance to anyone to speak and she said that i was the only one whose points were the best and i think i have won the group discussion when she was telling me deep inside i knew that she made a mistake and she is not going to be selected for this interview i was sure totally and that happened too in this video i am going to tell you the biggest wrong perception which most of us have the wrong perceptions related to group discussion but before starting the video i would like to do a little modification in the title and the modification is how to not win the group discussion by changing the title of the video i would like to change your perception towards the group discussions so guys without any further delay let's get into the video so most of us think that group discussions are for winning or for losing they think that they are doing the group discussion and they are supposed to win the group discussion the case is totally different this is not the case at all if you are thinking that the group discussions are neither for winning nor for losing you are not supposed to win the group discussion we all are unaware of the things that we need to avoid while doing the group discussion so first we will talk about the things that we should avoid while doing the group discussion number one is don't be dominating yes don't be dominating do not try to overpower the discussion don't try to show your knowledge i know you know about the things you have a very good gs you know everything what is happening around you don't try to show off your knowledge and in showing off you are just not letting anyone speak you are just disagreeing with each and every one you are trying to become very controlling if you do this while doing the group discussion this will cast a very bad impression on the interviewer because dominating nobody want this personality so always try to avoid to be dominating let's move to the next don't which is don't interrupt this is the biggest mistake that so many students make and that also cast a very bad impression on the interviews because interviewers are trying to observe what you are doing in the discussion if you are trying to interrupt everyone you are not letting anyone finish then what kind of speaker or what kind of team leader will you become so always try to not interrupt always wait for your turn when your turn will come and you will speak before moving ahead in the video let's talk about why group discussions are being conducted if they don't want anyone who is winning the discussion while doing the group discussion always keep that in your mind that the interviewer is observing you the interviewer is observing the way you talk the way you behave and many more things for example they observe your leadership quality are you cooperative enough are you a good team leader can you become a good team leader if i if they will hire they check your communication how good of a communicator you are can you speak fluent english can you communicate with their clients customers they check how rationally you think so these are the things that they are looking for that are you a good communicator a person who is a rational thinker a person who always controls his temper when someone else is speaking about anything in the group discussion always try to avoid interrupting others in the middle you don't need to interrupt in between no i think this if someone will do this to you what how will you think you will feel bad right and that is a very bad etiquette that you are following so never ever try to interrupt anyone in the middle okay so my next point is don't be personal 
Yes, this is the most important quality that you need to contain if you are sitting in the group discussion. If you are sitting in the group discussion, you are being personal. You are saying if your mother would be at the same place, what will you do? Don't try to do that. Have you noticed that when I was being personal, I was pointing my finger like this. And that is the worst quality that anyone can have. Pointing finger can be very offensive for the other person. Yes, it's like you are just saying things directly to that person. And that feels so bad. And that also casts a very bad impression to the interviewer as well. If they will see you pointing fingers at others, they won't like you at all. So don't try to show your anger during the discussion. Don't try to use foul language and don't try to use offensive words. Never ever show your outrage during the discussion. Because if you are showing your outrage, that means you are not mature enough to handle the situation. You are someone who is very irritable, who can be irritated by anyone. And while working anywhere, the best thing that we should have is our patience if you don't have patience that means you will become aggressive when i said that don't be personal religion is also very personal thing and when you will point out to any other religion you will have to face the consequences because a person is very very touchy in this topic the topic can be tricky they might want to see your bad side and on the name of religion people do everything yes that is the baddest side or the darkest side i can say because that is very touchy matter anyone can feel offended by that if you want to put your point put in a formal way don't say he or she if hindu if it's muslim if it's i no don't say this so that was all about the don'ts let's talk about what are the things that you need to do during the group discussion that means now we are going to see the do's so the first to do is make eye contact yes it's very important when you are in the discussion if you're not making eye contact with the other person how will they understand how will they connect you know our eyes are the mirror of our heart and people feel connected when you see them in the eyes but making eye contact is not enough you need to do something different here what you can do you can use your convincing eye contact convincing eye contact means that you are using your eyes while doing the discussion so that you can convince others like this okay so my point is that i hope that you are understanding always try to look at everybody who is sitting around you and try to convince by your eyes as if you are saying something very genuine even if they have different point of view it doesn't matter making eye contact doesn't mean that you have to stare at the people that yes so today my topic is i will say this this no you don't have to stare at that people you just need to change your sights like left right center left right center so in the group discussion the best and my favorite tip is using hand gestures using hand gestures is very 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 effective why because when we do gestures our point feels more convincing on the one hand you are using your eyes to convince on the other hand you, you are using your hand to convince people but but some people do wrong gestures some people do this as she said as he said look how bad it looks it looks so bad so what you need to do you need to follow the rhythm of your hand never show your finger never do your hands like this never do too much gestures always do your palms up and do like this like palms up you have the open gesture you are making eye contact a convincing eye contact that it becomes more easier to talk with the people and you will be easily convincing other people and interviewer will also get impressed with you that's how you need to do okay let's move to the next point which is our posture posture is the most important thing because some people they don't know how to sit sometimes they slouch they don't know how to sit sometimes in so much tension they do this they do this they do this like this and these all postures are not good so you need to just work on your posture just sit straight with your back straight and hands like this and eye contacts like this sit straight with your shoulders up like this with a lot of confidence not do this much 
not do that much okay in a balance strike a balance on your body and like this use your hand gestures and that is it you are here to win okay so let's move to the other one which is taking pauses let me be very very honest with you when i talk i speak so fast and that is my minus point i would like to give you an advice which is always always take pause when you speak in the end of every sentence take pause okay become modi ji as he speak if you will see any politician how they speak how they communicate with their people they just address people they take pause and they say the other sentence don't take too long pause okay it should be very very a normal pause and empath empathetic pause bol sakte hain isko my last do is using phrases and idioms using idiom in your discussion can change the game yes if you know how to use idioms to convey your difficult message in just one phrase there is nothing which would be better than this that you are conveying your message in a idiom for example a person a person should not do two job at a time because it's very hard not to crack it also feels good something different than the formal discussion always try to use formal idioms don't go too informal don't become just too informal okay so guys that was all do's and the don'ts that you need to follow during the group discussion so everyone that was all about group discussion i hope that watching this video helps you a lot because in this video i have covered everything all the do's and the don'ts i hope this video helps you a lot so thank you so much for watching this video do not forget to like this video and subscribe this channel if you want to get update every time i upload the video thank you so much for watching this video i hope that you are loving it thank you so much shweta singh signing off